This episode of Film Riot Mondays is brought to you by Kef Audio. On today's Film Riot Mondays, we're gonna be talking about the use of surround sound in film. Welcome to the very first episode of Film Riot Mondays. If you didn't see the last episode of Film Riot, you're probably wondering what the holy goat balls is happening. Well, in an attempt to take Film Riot up a notch, we have decided to add a second day to the lineup. Film Riot Mondays will be a shortened version of the normal Film Riot days. We will have just as much fun, just in smaller little, just little bites, little portions, getting thin getting a uh, fit. We'll take things that don't really fit a full episode of Film Riot, like coverage, for instance. But as I said in the beginning, today we're gonna be talking about surround sound, which I got the idea since our sponsor today is Kef. And I actually own the T-Series from those guys. So I was watching a film, playing some audio through the deliciousness that is Kef Audio, and I was like, hey, we should chat about this on uh, Monday's episode. So grab a cherry slushy or the blue one, if you'd rather, and uh, let's do this thing. Thermal ripple. Now I have talked on the show before about how important audio is to your film and how good sound can make you forgive bad visuals. Now I'd like to take that a step further because by mixing your audio to take advantage of multiple channels, you can pull your audience into the world that you're creating that much more. It never ceases to amaze me just how much sound can do for a film and with some creative use, how much it can enhance drama or scares. There's a boatload of examples I could use, but three of my favorites are Transformers, since the new one just came out, and then two older films, which are Darkness Falls and Saving Private Ryan. With Darkness Falls, the filmmakers use sound in 3D space to make you feel as though that the thing that was in the room with the character was moving around you as well. So we would hear that creepy sound it made moving behind us, then to the right of us, just the same as it was to the character. I remember thinking in the theater how much more effective the scene was because of this. You just felt like you were in the room with that character, which made the scene that much more tense. Then we have Saving Private Ryan. I think the main goal the filmmakers had for this movie was to try to give us some kind of understanding of what those soldiers did for our country. And to do that, the filmmakers had to immerse you as much as possible in those moments and on that beach in the case of the D-Day scene. Now while watching this film with surround sound, you're hearing bullets shoot right past your head. An explosion just to your right and so on. For me, it worked perfectly. I was very invested in the film and it was largely due to the sound mixing. So if you want to add a surround sound mix to your film, starting it out is a lot simpler than you'd think. The idea is to place certain parts of audio in the same 3D space that the visuals represent. So in a simple example, the bullets whizzing past, all you would need to do is open your audio project in your sound editor of choice, then select the bullet sound and keyframe a pan from one of the back speakers to one of the front speakers or vice versa. Toy with the speed and the gain and you'll have a bullet shooting right over your audience's head. Of course, for a decent surround sound mix, you'll usually need to get some high-end software like Pro Tools, Logic, etc. But if you have the Final Cut Pro Suite like I do, which comes with soundtracks, you can make a great mix right in there. Also, Adobe Premiere and the new Final Cut Pro X have surround sound mixing capabilities built right in. Now, if you have none of the above, or you were just looking to do some kind of basic technique to help enhance your mix, you can still utilize your left and right channels to do similar stuff. Like if a car is passing from left to right frame. Just keyframe your audio to pan with the visual of the car. You'll be surprised how much these little things will help your production. For those of you out there who do not already know Kef, they have been designing and engineering high-end innovative speakers in the UK since 1961. And they've now pushed the envelope even further by making a truly thin loudspeaker. We're talking only 1.4 inches thin. It's like a regular speaker after a diet. The new T-Series from Kef looks incredible and sounds even better. Skinny is all get out, but it'll punch your face out with sound. 
that's possible. I actually just upgraded my surround sound system a few months back to Kev, and I gotta say the difference in clarity of sound was just insane. My old speakers sounded muddy and gross compared to Kev. It's like they took a regular speaker and then introduced it to Jenny Craig. Kev is actually going to be giving away a set of their T-Series speakers every month for the rest of the summer. All you have to do is follow them on Twitter and you are entered to win. It's that easy. Just follow them at kef underscore direct and be automatically entered to win a T105 full 5.1 home theater system, which is exactly the one that I have and I highly recommend. I wanna lick it, but I won't, because that'd be weird. The speakers have a retail cost of about 1500 bucks. So if you're on Twitter, you're probably gonna wanna go ahead and just start following them right now. Again, that's at kef underscore direct, jump over, tell them we sent you. And thanks again to kef and the new T-Series Slim Speakers, Serious Sound. I'm not saying it'll get you dates, but it definitely won't hurt your chances. Well, that's it, you crazy kids. This is the end of our first Monday episode, but remember to come back here on Thursday for some more episode lovin'. And if you wanna help us continue to make the show bigger and better for you, spread the film riot lovin' with as many people as you know. Make this baby bigger show. I don't know, I couldn't think of anything. I love you peeps, and I'll see you on Thursday. Oh. And uh, just as a reminder, Film State is no longer on the Film Riot YouTube channel. So if that's the way you watch that show, make sure you jump over to this YouTube channel and subscribe so you can continue watching it with your face eyes. Bye now. Should I walk off? Because no. it's the first. Goodbye. Because it's a Monday. Goodbye. We should... Okay.